I would be a Aquarius. First was month, right? February 7th. I don't know, don't know what was the point of that. Um. Sticker to my guy was too much to give him power. I got one. One spin the invention with the people do. And they're open the stick. Okay. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. Of course there was. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then oh. came the next explosion. Man, I'm fucking killing. Finally get to play it. Can play video games now. The better ones. Do you understand and know when a tree treasure land? Oh man, I like that. Well, that deer fell down. That bird fell down.
I fell down. No, 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 no. Oh, great. Fuck. Fucking do it. Again, again. <clears throat> Okay, four people in the sky. Right there's something about the crying when the um these invisible ones come or 
something like that. I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor. But I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls that up. <laughs> My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Was basically like, if she doesn't need it, I mean, it's there, there's no point to them, but want to come work for me? It must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought the Fragile Express had plenty of people, plenty of traders. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that. Not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractors, Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Headed into town. yourself those things never stay gone for long the time for fast forwards whatever it touches but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. It's because the past is always there. <laughs> God damn it. Bridges corpse disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? 
Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come on, man. We don't have time for this bullshit. We need to go. There's some dead people to remove. Take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? I don't know the exact DOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dunes. Yeah. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? No. Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? If it's helping you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out too. Roll out. Oh, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> fucking times will it say produced and directed and developed and this and that but Hideo Kojima Survived, the time fall came and washed you away. And those freaking feet shit. The world of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. What the fuck is going on? The engine stalled. 
Those assholes got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. What logic does he think he can pull him out when the whole truck is on him?
They fucked him up. Throw the dude's throat, not the chest. It's a too small of knife. <laughs> Kill yourself with it in the chest. He's butt naked, why does he have tags? Five, not four. Okay. <laughs> What is your cuffs? <laughs>
once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Well, that's why he has scuffs. Oh man, obviously that won't work. Oh, you're awake. So, how does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry, I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner, originally. <laughs> Call me Dead Man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course, contrary to the name. I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Yep, bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. <laughs> Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflinks. Look, look. Cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days. During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD, guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. The place is a crater. The only ones to get it continued were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. <laughs> We're at our base in Capital North City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters? Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Uh, uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? A clinging woman in a cave. Mm, I see. Aphanfosomphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, 
The job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer. In critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah. Here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. <sighs> the truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. signs are all trending the same way no chance of a recovery then none that i can see no we should start making preparations sam it's me dead man no shit <laughs> sorry my mistake i'm afraid the president's condition has deteriorated Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? Huh? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. So basically, it just keeps me over. Okay, I'll go over it. Hey, that's the president's right hand man, the director of bridges. Die hard man. Oh, you were with Bridges One. So I guess no introductions are necessary.
What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. leave you two alone. Sam, I knew you'd come back. Are you doing all right? Amelie. Amelie? You remember Amelie Redless. Took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie. She needs you. You can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. The Please. So you are willing to help me. I love you, Sam. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> you only love the idea. Madam President! Oh, no. <sighs> Doctor, we need your help.
one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Then what happened here does not leave this room. Do you understand? Yes, Director. But there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered.
And so it begins. either of you made it back. When someone with dooms hooks up to a BB, your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It amplifies fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the president's office. We need to talk.
Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. did well, Sam. Thank you. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Fucking hell, why is she so skinny? Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our She's something like built. Unity from Rick and Morty, what the fuck? America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. United <laughs> Cities. <laughs> we'll build our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of Bridges won. And went west. them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw them coming a mile away. <laughs> we convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. 
The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. That's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to legally be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. There are extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. Uh, it's that dumb American propaganda. I carried my mother's message to people. We're saving the world. <laughs> but not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force, by men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. Would you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together, to form chiral knots and reconnect. I think that's such Sam, a bullshit. We want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the chiral web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. Well, I suppose I followed the linear story. Because I would definitely refuse. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on. Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect. It's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep.
you had a chance to think it over? Chock full of Kyrelia, but safe for you Dunes guys to wear. That's all you need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Oh, yes, a linear it is. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired. Sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are... grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drops waiting up there too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what time? Hey man, you there? Little help? <laughs> okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, temporary excess of stress. 
easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. Try adjusting the acid doping package. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. <laughs> Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. No, you don't. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. I she wonder why. <laughs> They're supposed to come together. To help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said. Extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. 
long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. Yeah, hope is gonna save you, definitely. <laughs> I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. She his sister? Right? Yeah. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, it's good for the body and soul. And also... London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows, it may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? <clears throat> what the hell? Did they enter the city? No oh, crap. last president dead and burned. Oh, 
And now the girl's been chosen to take mommy's place. Well, that won't wash. She's not cut out for politics, is she? Oh, but don't worry. I'll find her. And I'll keep her real safe. <laughs> you see, I've come to understand the truth of the Death Stranding. Oh, there's so much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. Oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Now you, you're no bridge. To me, I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world, and our sweet little angel of death. Aren't you getting tired of the grind? Isn't this what you've been waiting for this whole time? A game over. I got clean. I think she's bored. More than she is into him. I told you before, Sam. The past just won't let go. Listen, I have something to ask of you. It has to do with Death asking. Higgs. He just does not give a fuck. <clears throat> Sam. 
Do you remember? It's almost time to go, Sam. I had no idea until you told me. Wait, is this blonde in the red dress and the president the same person? Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Make me. <laughs> That's not a really convincing crying, but okay. Yeah, sure. Did you forget how to go home? Come on. I'll take you halfway. And then you can do the rest by yourself. Better now? I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. We used to play together a lot in this place. You brought me here. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. So you can't just come back east through here? Not until you make us whole again, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. I mean, obviously, she is not alive. I don't know how you sleep. Need to pick me up? Fucking on the mic. Welcome to Lake Knot City. What? Nothing. Let's go. Well, all of it is a bit rusted, I would say. This cargo is from Port Knot City, bound for Lake Knot. I'll leave these up to you. The dispatch terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator.
for me? It's called a keeper. It means not in old words. You can also use it to count stuff. I add a knot when I make a friend. Okay. Then how about I add another knot every time I see you? <laughs> this must be very important to you if you were able to bring it here. Very special. It is special. I made it for you. I'll treasure it, Sam. Something to eat? Are you here? Ask your boss man. No. I mean, why are you here? Got a delivery for a porter. You're gonna need this on the road ahead. This will ID you as an associate of Fragile Express. It's woven from my blood and chiral crystals. Think of it as a kind of bomb. Preppers around these parts won't give you trouble so long as you've got it. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until Higgs fucked it all up. Me, the Express, our reputation, all of it. And now you wanna fuck him back? On your own? I'm not on my own. The cave, Port Knot City, Next to your bed. So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting. All that BT country in between where I should have been caught in a void out. Yet here I am. Here I am. You can use the beach? I have a beach. You've got yours. I've got mine. I use it to jump across space. I can't conjure up BTs the way Higgs can, but I can go after him, chase him to the beach. Problem is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. You all right? The jumps take a lot out of me. Suck my blood dry. I did say she's anemic. You're going to Edge Knot City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with Higgs sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. It's not what I do. What if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach to any place the Kyrelians big enough any place connected to the chiral network and what do you expect in return I expect you to think it over here call it an incentive and call me if you need me This will keep us connected. See you when I see you.
was obviously fragile. Was that her name? I didn't look, I didn't look, I swear. I can get dressed inside. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with Terrace. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. Don't touch me. Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. Yeah. It all <clears throat> cough, cough. Making deliveries and connecting people. <laughs> he was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Higgs made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, Fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. Tell me then. Yeah. It was me. Come here, come here. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the city. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his panda flesh and then some some wounds they don't heal whatever time I've got left the rain took so there you have it everything's true except for all the lies <laughs> I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together the truth is true but Unless it's a lie. I mean, imagine that. My father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now? No. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorist attack, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. 
I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. Is she having some speech impediment or? But that's not why I stopped. He feared he was dead. My mother never liked him. She made or it that. pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. She said he was dead. So when she said he oh, died. Yeah. I was right. <laughs> I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. Come here, come here. <laughs> I should never have given up. Deep down. I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother overwhelmed. So I tried to make my peace with it. Why is it so dragged out? Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. <laughs> Even Sam is like, dude, shut the fuck up. Let's just go. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if we want, just say you take me. Why is she <clears throat> tied up like that? To protect her from the rain and BTs or like that, kind of. I hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. It's like, okay, it's weird. It's a lot of human being locked in a bag. Papa! <laughs> She's Chinese. He's not Chinese, so her mother is Chinese. Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my line, silly. Looks too young to have probably a grown up daughter. I kept it close. Always. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on. Like forgetting you. Yeah, he looks barely old, older than now her. Let's move on. Together, you and me. If you're ready. Of course. The man I knew. They took feather junk. He fixed the things, made them like you again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But Fuck the hell, they're so dragged out. <laughs> it's not even that good, honestly. 
matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count the moments of our serve together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. Also, oh, he is not her father. I, I do. Okay, yes. that makes what? That doesn't make sense. What? Don't hate, mom. Please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us, and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. Yeah, he was saying my girl, okay. <laughs> but it was in a romantic way, you know, to, I assume. Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And yeah, it does sound weird when he says my girl. I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. Nope. <laughs> Don't give me your right. forget you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, Sam Bridges, I presume. It says here the client is fragile herself. Careful, the contents are fragile. Higgs. Sam, what's wrong? Fragile, son of a bitch, it was him. What are you talking about? The package I picked up for you, the one from Lake Knot. Hold on, I wasn't expecting any package. He said Fragile herself was the client. The system was down, so some Bridges delivery guy had to hand it over in person. Who? Look, the point is, it was Higgs. Come on, I need to see it now. Run. to the crater and next to South Knot. It's a tar pit. Damn your bottom line. If we chuck it in there, we just might have a chance. <laughs> Let's say that did succeed.
Jesus, that was close. You saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Middle Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me and you. By the time I realized what Higgs was planning, the nuke was already at the city gates. I followed the delivery truck and somehow managed to carry the bomb to safety. But Higgs had been on to me from the start. He caught me red-handed outside the gates, the nuke still cradled in my arms like a child. Okay. This punishment strips me down to nothing, and then he makes it rain. That's not down to nothing. Fuck you. She's a liar. Listen up, fragile. I got a proposition for you. Do you want to live out your days as damaged goods? Or would you rather take damage for the goods? Get to the point. All right. If all you want is to save yourself, you just have to jump. However, if you want to see this altruistic streak of yours through, then you'll have to carry my nuke to the bottomless pit and toss it in. No, oh, sure, you'll be the city savior. But you will have to walk naked through time fall to do it. Trade a lot of your time for a little bit of the city's? <laughs> Hell, seems like a fair exchange to me. That's why I hide it. Oh, but you... Oh, you just love yours, don't you? I bet Daddy was real proud. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. I won't mess it up. See, I want your face to be a kind of testament. Why did you do it? Why did you betray me? Because I found someone who completes me. Someone who doesn't need me to wear a mask. Oh. <laughs> Word to the wise. Even if you do save South Knot, You'll always be the nut job who blew up Middle Knot. Oh, and that pretty face of yours will always be remembered as the face of a terrorist. They'll never stop hunting you. Believe me, I know. Well, they can slap a sticker on you, but you're still gonna break in transit. Oh. Ooh. So... What's it gonna be? Hmm? I'll take the damage. 
and the goods. I don't break that easy. <laughs> uh, well, good luck with that. I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile. She's still not stripped down to nothing. I refuse this. Lies. Oh, there's her butt there, okay. There's her upper boob, okay. Oh, come on. She barely got 10 meters away. Sam, that choice I made, I've regretted it ever since. All I had to do was jump, and I could have saved myself. But instead, you saved a city. And more than that, you gave people hope. Well, now there's only one person left for me to save. I'm gonna make Heath's regret he ever crossed me. By killing him? I can't. He's way more powerful now than he was before. But you can. You could take him. You could. But promise me. Promise me you'll leave him alive. There's something I want to ask him to his face. I didn't think you were capable of torture. I'm now. And I want to know why he betrayed me. Do you want it? Sam, don't forget about the supply runs to South Knot City.
Back. you left the distribution center the storm blinked out just like that chiral density dropped almost as fast i got caught in the storm and i was in a war zone you've been daydreaming sam comms were only down for a second no it was much longer than that there was this soldier he tried taking my bb if you say so <laughs> the little one can vouch for me Sam, it's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for, for hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. Yeah, I know. The kid, right? Be careful, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. Sam, he doesn't bite. Glad you made it.
He's hungry. What the? Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. Not like the other BT. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the supercell. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times? HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. <laughs> Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelia. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so... I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse cause another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate the limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochner. She was a member of Bridges once. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Me 
Maybe the other side wants her back. Maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Then the terrorists hit us. pinned under the rubble. Nothing to do with weight and weight. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. At least I had air and water. went by the water ran dry and the cold set in <laughs> I gave birth there in the rubble But instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. All right. When the time fell stopped, my baby started to cry. She cried, cried, cried. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me. Together ever since. But she's a BT. The ties that bind her to this place bind me too. You could say I've never really been discharged. And you're okay with that? I mean, you know she's gone. You want to live your life in the shadow of the dead? Come on. <laughs> you, of all people, you chose the dead over the living. Why else would you be here? I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already bleed me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But 
It's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. She died. Amelie. Higgs and his people came. They finally reached Echinoff City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead. The city's destroyed. And what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. She's long dead. <laughs> hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. She already tried them out. Cut the cord connecting us. Oh no, she wants me to try. Oh. She's 
sound asleep. Made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Well, this is just one fucked up coping Please. with everything. That is great. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. She's the daughter of my twin sister. Dum dum dum. That was all a lie. No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was alright with it. I mean, <laughs> children. I needed them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child. Someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course. As was I. Back then, strong emotions like that. I could feel hers, and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, end it I went to her and said let's have a baby we took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilize it with his frozen sperm and I carried it to term a healthy baby grew inside me but then there was the attack and our bond was severed I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. Break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. Is <laughs> just click <laughs> and wait out. <laughs> now that would be a good plot twist. What if I don't do it? Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> The shadow lady. Come here, come here. All right, Sam. Take me to Loch Ness. Will I really have to drive all the way back there or will it just skip to there? Oh shit. Would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. You sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine. So long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. 
Okay, Sam. Let's go. Surprise, pressing everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does. She died, yeah, yes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I love you so much. She did die? Cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. If only you. I love you. Can you hear me? Well, she did say that she's connected to this world because of the baby or whatever. that she went through I had no idea I thought I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose that she stole our child and ran <laughs> I fixed your cupid like she asked limiters should be functioning properly now 
There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Obviously. My memory is going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Look at him there, he's fucking malign. Maybe we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her heart remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she yeah. kept one cop loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that. Keep me and our daughter safe. Before in the womb, remember? Malingan. Hakna. Malingan. Surprise! Prajal warped me here. Oh, that's why. We got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. <laughs> you may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network. To their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware. Becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose it cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. 
You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <laughs> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? You will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me. Try. Get started. Again! Uh. I was already filthy from my trip to the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injure me. What the fuck was that second look? Yeah, we assume that that's not Hartman at all? some digging into the first BB experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? Central to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name. Or his face. I thought you might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing the mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. I have a feeling that Hartman will die. The, the dead man, not Hartman. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it 
It's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Well, that was interesting. Probably will lose the truck and the equipment and whatever. Well, he's not surviving this, I suppose.
Sam. Dead man. Oh, thank God I got through. Where are you? No idea. I'm seeing tanks and soldiers. The uniforms date back over a century. World War II era, I suspect. Uh, did you see the man leading the soldiers? No. I think it's the guy you told us about. The born and bred warrior asshole who's gunning for BB. He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip top shape, just waiting for you. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole, a, a square tower, right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it. Search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. Oh, fuck me. No, oh, right. fuck me. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh, no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. He'll lead him straight to you. Oh, boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect, now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do, fight back? If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... Uh... You won't. I'm ending the call. Sam, it's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. And so I sought solace, sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me, 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. You're very special, Sam. Little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. <laughs> Maybe this is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. Uh. So, do you still share memories? <sighs> I see. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down. That should get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? <laughs> Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name.
Listen. Let's try that again. taking a shine to me you two were out cold so I had you brought here you were right whatever you did back there returned us to our own world I put your cargo and gear in your private box you slept for a whole day you know slept like the dead <laughs> I'm already back in capital not Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd have made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life nobody knew until it was too late a boy down her husband who was a member of bridges had dunes he tried but he couldn't get to her in time the whole town was wiped off the map leaving nothing but a big crater and him because he was a repatriate people wanted answers did the man hide his wife's body on purpose the only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son Lou didn't happen but it did president's friend told me she talked about you all the time he didn't have to cut all ties and walk away she said you want to shut the fuck up calm down sam take a seat i told you before about my body 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. No car. A dead man. People
people born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone, anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. Oh, they're fucking Kosovo. <laughs> well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our Ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our Ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, Picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover. Who the fuck is everything padded?
Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the scene an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. I see myself in that crater, my wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? Mm -mm. No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize, and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. 
even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, <coughs> they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger, his misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured. It'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. Administering shock. Stand clear. Is it 218,550? Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I made the use of the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation. Evolution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows. There's some very interesting short films and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may, may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too.
I was in the ICU having heart surgery out of town in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst, but the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> People who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, do you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armily proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. Mm. When the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast 
quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. I think Higgs is to blame. I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the death. Oof. No, that's why he has padded floors. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Sam. The air map floor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. <laughs> Just waiting for when the Hartman will be dead. Claiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and heart failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. Five, four, three, two, one. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. 
In other words, the president's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five. 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. Ugh, bullshit. You remember bullshit. That? What if the mammoth and the iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No, only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilisci are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolve over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, bound with strands, which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, and she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction? Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding. Assuming Amelie is an EE, well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Right. Nice. Activating lab security measures. Five, four, three, two, one.
I would assume she's already gone, dead, taken over, I don't know. We already had this dream. scare the poor girl away, do you? She's in there. I can smell her. Of course, I wouldn't know for sure if it wasn't for you and your wonderful network. Bless your heart. And thank you kindly. I'm not the only one wearing masks either. There's your boss man, and that woman, and oh, let's not forget little old you. <laughs> I know it ain't easy wearing a mask all the time. Now the mask can come off, right? Hey, hey, hey. You remember this? Nope, nope, nope. Mmm. Poor sweet Amelie. She's holed up in the beach nearby. Tell you what. What say we make it a race? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. But I wonder.
Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. I'm late. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edgenoth City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the distro center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <laughs> Sam. Promise you'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie. Amelie. We can only be whole in death. What the Everything fuck? Everything I needed, Sam. A complete chiral network. Spread all across America. Connecting all them precious little knots. I got the whole world in the palm of my hands. extinctions each caused by an extinction entity and now it's time for number six now I'm not talking about the death of a few dozen species no this this is the granddaddy of them all BT antimatter voiding out all life as we know it and it wouldn't be possible a boy scout like you willing to make us whole again <laughs> what do you say come on time to meet your ender
Beaches into a single shore. And then will come an extinction like no other. More massive than any before it. The last. This is my purpose. Nothing more than a prelude. Surely you figured it out. Doom? People like us? She's the source of it all! The nightmares that haunt us, the visions of an inescapable future. Sound familiar? Fucking doomsday, Sam! Fuck you! Can I get rid of that? I want that guy really. Oh, it's gonna fall. No, that's not gonna end well. No. I thought it would be completely hardened, but I guess not. It hardens now. Yay! Was a nice fight. I'm a leaf. I'm a leaf. No, you still alive. Right. Extinction's on hold for now. Let her go. up when you're done dying. Piss! I'll see you on the beach for the grand finale. 
wants to connect the knots of your network with Amelie's beach. So it's pretty clear where they went. So how do we get there? I can't. But you and Emily have strong connections. You've been to her beach plenty of times, right? You can make the jump. You gonna come through for me? I'll try to take him alive. Promise me. I'm the one who finishes him off. Good. Then I'll help you get where you need to go. I can send us both at once. But I'll be right behind you. I thought you said you couldn't go to her. I can't. But I can go to you. I love you. By the ties that bind us together. The dream catcher will lead you to her. And then? Misonga will lead me to you. <laughs> For going in like that? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm not going to take Lou either. You hooked, huh? <laughs> Sam, be careful. Worst comes to worst. Take care of Lou, all right? this to work. I'll have to touch you. I'll survive. <laughs> close your eyes. They were already closed for fuck's sake. Now picture Amelie on her beach. You love her, right? You love her. Here it is. But I love you, and you love her, but she doesn't love you. Blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, fair enough, I guess. One might suppose. Yay, I'm dressed up for the first time. Amelie? Sam? What are you doing here? Of course, it was all a trick. You ready to end this? Before the end of everything? Do 
what I'm supposed to do. Keep the extinction entity safe until the slate is wiped clean. There's no stopping the sixth extinction. No matter what you, me, or anybody else does, humanity has a few hundred thousand years left, tops. Why don't we just cut to the chase? Accept our fate. Let the creatures before us. We all know what's coming. Why delay the inevitable? Those of us with dooms, her, we're all bound here for a reason. We are all of us a part of the death destroyer. In this place, this fucking beach. There's no repatriation here, no. One of us dies, that's it. He goes to the other side. Nice, huh? Lucky loser gets to put an end to this rinse and repeat bullshit once and for all. So, no BTs, no void out, no bullshit. Just a good old fashioned boss fight. <laughs> boss fight, I like that. Versus strength. One more in. Got doomed, Sam. This was only ever gonna end one way. So come on! Someone else will finish you off. You're getting a little touchy feely there, Mr. Often Phobia. Well, congratulations. It's yours. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess I left a lasting impression. I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile. This time you're the one who's going to break. Is that right? I think you'll find our bond is made of stronger stuff. Oh, 
What's this? You're already broken. I'm Higgs. I'm the particle of God that permeates all existence. Who are you? Tell me you ain't nothing but damaged goods. That's true. <laughs> You are damaged goods. Well, she's obviously not good. The Higgs was kneeling before her. I mean. <clears throat> I brought you a metaphor. Take it with you. Tell the lifers with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. One more thing. <laughs> Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. Better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. Wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, son. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want, what I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Is this all for you or all for Bridget? Okay, he is not this dead, um. For our future, that is the truth. <laughs> There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? You lied? Fuck me. 
you have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or Bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. Now you're right. I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. Nope. Well, I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it? Do we jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? Yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. I mean, obviously she is not good. Wait here, okay? no atonement not for us Can't be. You'll do. Is that his friend? Yes. 
It's me. John. Remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. me. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt. Your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there, too. Cliff. He took Di Hartman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well, it would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone. Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? You must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed she... quite a bit. We'll explain everything. I, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. 
But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow, if tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Amelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same, but neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course, but believe me when I say, it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Frychow transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh, oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time. And... Oh. Mama. No, no luck now. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. Yeah. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed, and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie. Straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin. The price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, Perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid the hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Armory and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east. Towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross. I think it hit something a little bit.
Food, bunga, bunga, bunga. Problem, Mara. Give me back my baby. Are you clear, Dunger? I was. Who are you? Are you the father? They told me your name was Sam Porter. But you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. Sam, you 
bring people together. You're their bridge to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up. Nee, nee, nee. Ups. reviewed your logs it looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of ground zero not far from port Nod city how'd i wind up here then remember victor he found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside i think cliff might be Lou's father he said give me back my baby impossible Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. <laughs> Didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. The man, Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridges' eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh? Shook her hand? Touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. 
Amelie was with the first, Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes. But on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Amelie was born on the beach. There, her Ka remained, though her Ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. <laughs> now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Amelie was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. <laughs> and that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... Amelie is Bridget, they're one and the same. What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, 
It won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Sam. I'll tell him. Fraga. You look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I love you. <coughs> I had a little chat with Hafes back on the beach. <coughs> Didn't take much to make him talk. Did he say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist voidouts. Obviously. The whole extinction agenda. Amelie was behind it all. Like how she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. He's turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control ETs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. <laughs> what about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But Higgs said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod. And there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie in her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE really? Is it Bridget? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Oh. She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. unstable so I'll keep this short we have a job for you fragile's condition is deteriorating if she slips into a coma there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach she needs crypto biots fast luckily for us fragile express keeps a stockpile there in Port Nord City so we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area all the details are on the terminal upstairs please Sam this is critical
Sigmar with all these crypto files you brought. We should be able to bring her round. And with any luck, it'll only take a few more to get her back on her feet. You did well, Sam. Sam. You're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hardman too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells. Effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? <sighs> anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The Great Deliverer, the only one who can reach Amelie's reach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, ne. which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. Dio. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beach, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory. So basically only she can only let you in or out wants you to go to her that's her final wish don't you think 
So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE, and this is her endgame. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. As well make it official then you ready to deliver the package no I'll talk to her maybe she'll listen but with the shape the world's in it'll only be delaying the inevitable still if it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. I thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? Me. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kids done and off. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse a little one back to health. Still, I'll be doing this tomorrow. Okay, concentrate. Help me look for Emily. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her. You would love her.
She's turning him into a baby. Samstrand, episode 13. Plot twist. Sam is actually the BB. Maybe. It's scripted then. She's wearing black. Emily is Bridget. Bridget is Emily. The last stranding has already begun. She has the gun. Emily. You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. It's Bridget. You still don't know who I am, do you? I mean, it's so blatantly obvious. No, you don't. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I've been waiting for you. Right here, ever since. You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been? No. Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. I've had 
to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. Well, la -dee -da. What's that supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Punch her in the face. Punch? No? Come on. London bridges falling. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget. Those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. Skinny shot one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame winks out. Sounds so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyway. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together into...
Oh. Near freedom. Always. So it didn't count that I just wasted the whole battle into her. Promise you'll remember. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I remember. We knew. We always knew. I did and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. To connect the dots. To make sense of everything. You need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a line. I am a single point. Which is why... All I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible. To live life one day at a time. won't help you here but it still has a role to play well it's an empty gun right now it was the bonds between people that brought the world together <laughs> if that is what matters most to you then i will stay here on this beach I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in, come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam, I am the beach. And I must stay. Stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an Ui does. <sighs> if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. <laughs> Sounds like hell. I mean, the story does make sense, but it's like, why? But you and the others came together. <laughs> it's so pointless actually in the end I mean, yeah, I... time, but you still have hope before each of the big five life rebelled they fought back evolved in order to survive the extinction is a testament it's an opportunity And if I have to pay the price for it, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <laughs> Even if 
we aren't together. We will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. And yeah, it is weird, but Ogan won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. <laughs> oh, I was not too far away. Oh. Okay. The first operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. 
Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead. Which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself. Including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So. I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd seen. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a time speck of matter survived just enough enough to make this world and everything in it a world that shouldn't be a world out of balance order inevitably gives way to chaos everything that lives must inevitably die it's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from maybe the big five were its best attempts to finish us off Always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are.
BB is some. Um, <clears throat> some is BB. between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment... You became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading like nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, the death stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void out. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Oh, he pulled a gun. A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Yep. <clears throat> that was also pretty apparent. There's the five.
don't give up. You're still connected. <laughs> yeah, that man is my favorite. I mean. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now, with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today, we come together to celebrate the birth of a new life? nation. A new nation for a new world, the United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us nor masks to hide who we are. Fucking hell, he's a good looking man, actually. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. The old ways die hard, but I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. And He's dead again. Shadow, a constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair we will endure <laughs> president bridget strand and her daughter samantha america strand sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again that they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Well, the name is unimportant. You know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. 
You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. Well, that's great, motherfucker. Now, would you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? Uh, yes, I do. Sure. Why the fuck not? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy. Which is when I remembered something else. We have a baby. Not what I think it is. Yes, the umbilical what cord. More connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochnow via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The president must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. No idea how long I've been <laughs> Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges. Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts later appointed as an aide to the president who used him for most of her wet work the records go on to state that he vanished after cliff's death a warrant was put out but he was later found dead turns out some people die harder than others though dear john donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity but you can't fool the chiral network we restored the old records and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges.
guess we're here. You still with me, Lou? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Thanks. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UC8 wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, You'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. Why didn't he take the BB out? Oh, there we go. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. I expected it to be the adult sample of him. Oh, this is going on for a long time. Eh? 
I do love a good story, but dude. To the moon. They're in the sun. Upside down whales, okay. Oh god. Flip out. Cut the cord. Or not. Fling one some <clears throat> Yep, there are more than five, okay. Mm. 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 